Dear student, in today's lecture, we will discuss about pen culture and here is the content list that we will discuss in today's lecture. The first one is what is the meaning of pen culture? What is the history of pen culture? Which country actually start the culture of pen and which type of barrier and enclosure we can use in pen culture? And at the end, if we build a pen in sea, ocean, a river or in open area, what are the merits and demerits of pen culture. The first one is what is enclosure. Enclosure is an actually area which is uh, separated from rest of area by building a fence as you can see here in the diagram. So what is the meaning of pen culture in North America? Uh, cage culture and pen culture both considered same and uh, pen culture and cage culture both are quite similar with a little difference as the cage is totally enclosed in all sides by the mesh or netting while the pen culture the bottom of the pen is enclosed and by the river or sea bottom and both uh, methods are actually same and we can use both these methods and both these cultures for culturing of different aquatic organisms like a fish shrimp or prawn etc so uh, if uh, the culture of the pen was started from the Asia and later it was uh, also introduced in Japan and uh, other countries uh, where they store uh, where the culture milk fish and um, traditionally when the pen culture was started the people use actually a bamboo uh, fence while now the bamboo is replaced with the nylon and polyethylene mesh net uh, and the um, uh, all the methods are same and um, all, all the sides are covered by a, a nylon mesh or a bamboo fence. Where uh, pens are built, uh, where we can uh, build the mesh, actually, pens are usually built in a shallow water and the depth of the water should be three to five meter. And in the area where we want to uh, construct the pen should have two to seven hectare in size. And although there are much larger enclosure in North America, reaching about 50 hectare and up to 120 hectare in Japan, and the area with too much silt and decomposing organic matter should be avoided. The bottom soil should be muddy, clay and sandy mud with detritus. And the flow of water should be 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 minute per second. And the soft substrate are preferable. Pens are formed by damming a bay, or arm of river, or lake, a reservoir, or estuary, or a sea. So, uh, so uh, barriers in pen culture. There may be one or one series of barrier when, uh, when the blind end of the aquatic body to be enclosed in the enclosure where continuous water of the uh, continuous flow of water takes place where uh, there may be two or two series of barrier, one being upstream and the second one is downstream. And there are different types of barrier we can use in pen culture. The first one is site material dependent barrier. The barrier or dam may be built with concrete or stone, sand or soil depending upon the availability of material at the site. And such type of barrier are generally equipped with screen which are made up of vertical aluminium or other metal bar with a little spacing and the screen function to check the escape of fish strong. The second is wire mesh barrier and it is not common and uh, at the bottom of the poles are peeling underwater. Uh, such net barrier is fixed to a rope along the seabird for approximately one meter until it terminates in a lead line. Generally, the net is embedded in the silt or sand of the bottom, sealing it properly so as the entry of predator and escape of aquatic culturable organism could be checked. This, uh, here is the wire mesh barrier that was built and can be used for construction of the pen. Then net nylon barrier, it is the Enclosure system used to partition of area of pen aquatic body that is intertidal area of the sea or foreshore area of large lake or reservoir. Normally, the enclosure is framed on one side by the shore or by the rest three sides by the wall of nylon netting hung from the ropes. Sometimes to provide adequate support for the net stone or concrete wall of, of approximately three meter wide core constructed, net barrier may be hung from the steel cable styled between wall and the latter are in anchored to large anchor block by steel cable to check any lateral oscillation of the pile. Here is a nylon net barrier that could be constructed and can, can be used in um, pen culture. 
then in cloyer uh, there are different type of in cloyer that could be used in pen culture the first one is bamboo um, bamboo uh, scaffolding in cloyer it is generally used in bay of philippine and lake of china and these in cloyer are of various types uh, for uh, about 2.5 meter height and 5 to 10 cm wide a gap or interspace of approximately 1 to 1.5 cm is essential between two bamboo shield for free exchange of water in the pen and the second one is floating net enclosure it is the type of improved net enclosure here enclosure is held in place by concrete block sinker with a series of small weight on the foot prop which is secured to the chain link between the sinkers that net is kept floating by the float attached to the head prop to prevent fishing from the jump a horizontal net is stretched at the top of the enclosure this type of enclosure has been proved useful for the culture of tilapia and other milk fish in the lake and here is the uh, uh, enclosure that we can construct and here is the example how they build a pen in uh, open area then single layered pen of a uh, Island webbing. Uh, in this type of enclosure, uh, a tropical Asian pan palm poles are used for support, which are pointed at one end, and the size uh, of the pole should be three meter length, five fifteen centimeter wide, and five centimeter thick. And the poles are uh, diverted into mud at about fifty centimeter and are one point five meter apart. And the uh, uh, polyethylene rope should be. 22 to 25 meter mm thick and as a head drop and a foot drop head drop is then connected to a nail driven at the top of the pole so that webbing is firmly held to the pole and the lead right uh, stones are attached to the uh, foot road at the interval of about 1.5 meter and the stones along the foot drop and the webbing are anchored roughly 40 to 45 cm in the mud here is a um, uh, enclosure that was constructed and practically used in the open area the mesh size of the uh, knotless nylon web is about 20 10 to 20 mm and the approximately area enclosed by such net is up to 1 hectare and scar line composed of tender leaves of uh, pamea is uh, attached to the polyethylene uh, to wind at the interval of about 1 uh, m inside the enclosure of about 40 to 50 cm above the bed of the pen and this is because the finger link and juvenile may not dash against the webbing and get themselves injured these are the suitable applied as nurseries for fish are prawn seeds and uh, the most important thing uh, which species we can culture in pen the market demand and the availability of the seed greatly influence the selection of candidate species for the pen culture the main desirable characters of for enclosure aquaculture are faster growth rate high survival ability and capacity to withstand overcrowding acceptance of artificial feed and better fcr and resistance to diseases we can uh, culture uh, air breathing catfish tilapia prawn and the principal uh, fish species cult cultured in south asia like philippine china are milk fish and other carps and sometimes we can also um, culture the carps and in uh, which is uh, more used in bangladesh and egypt the production of tilapia in net pen is also being evaluated in philippine and the milk fish uh, can be cultured as a monoculture or polyculture monoculture in which we can only culture one species and polyculture uh, where we can stock and culture more than one type of species so uh, which type of stocking density you can uh, kept in pen about 10 to 100 individuals per cube uh, per meter per cubic meter per square meter sorry then what are the merits of pen culture more than arranged production is assured in limited space with rich food and oxygen supply it is non stop pro uh, process because of continuous water supply maximum growth can be achieved and no danger for mass mortality and it generate employment opportunity it re reduce over exploitation and it require comparatively low capital outlay and require simple technology of the operation and what are here are the demerits in culture and uh, the predator species and abundance of weeds in surrounding of the pen and free uh, burnet Gulls and algae like um, could be um, in the area where you culture the pen, and uh, terrestrial insect also uh, could be, and unavoidable climatic condition may damage the pen. 
so uh, pen culture may, may not be suitable for all the fish species it is also a demerit and because fish kept in pen have across to the benthos the conversion of primary production to fish biomass is likely to be higher and the fish culture in the pen are bounded to the bear toxic industrial pollution if if happens and pen are largely uh, largely restricted to land thick water bodies and they may not be largely intensive culture in the pen and it is not only used for extensive and semi intensive culture that's all about today's lecture